fire expert. This is United Life. Another ride and even more things collected. This is pretty ancient. I thought it was just a radio, but then I turned it around and a big hole. It's an old 8-track. These were never hugely popular in Australia, at least for portable units, though they did get some following for use in cars. It's pretty heavy, which means it must be full of batteries. Most likely corroded, as I'm not able to get the lid off. Because 8-tracks are somewhat rare, I'm not going to open this up, but if there is a viewer who wants this and is willing to pick it up, then they can have it. But only for a week. After then, I'll pull it to bits. Also picked up, in better condition, is this portable transistor radio. Nothing special, it's just AM and FM. Philips D2000. governments to serve their term. Mm -hmm. We're elected to serve our term and that's exactly what we're going to do. Without a majority. Well that's not an uncommon circumstance. Given the condition this will be cleaned up and kept. Some things found even came with their own batteries. Not sure what this is but it sends Morse code. It has no antenna, no socket, maybe it's some sort of wireless based game remote control. This I think is a maximum minimum thermometer. Part of a remote control Connected to an external antenna, I'll check the range of the remote control. That achieved 100 to 150 metres range. Imagine the performance if the transmitting antenna was better than this. A cordless phone, these operated on around 30 or 39 megahertz. Another small radio. But someone's modified it and connected a Nokia charger to it. This doesn't look much, but it's actually a great find. Angle aluminium. So useful because you can use it to make little brackets or even form boxes. You can use this as the frame for an enclosure, maybe with some chopping board material, and be able to make your own cases for very little cost. Here's a kid's walkie-talkie. Super light. 40.677 megahertz. My own experience is these are no good unless they've got a crystal to keep them frequency stable. It doesn't sound very good, but this walkie talkie works. Probably the best find of the lot is this, also a transistor radio, medium wave only. You can just see the air spaced tuning capacitor. It may be hard to see, but where my index finger is pointing, a germanium transistor. Looks like an OC71. Notable is the famous blue label that every radio made in Australia at one time had. OC something, probably an OC169 or OC170. That was one of the best RF transistors at the time. And just behind it, a large ferrite rod. Don't know the battery voltage, but I suspect six or nine volts. So we'll just try this nine volt battery. What is it? One of the one of the great homes, Woburn Abbey in England. Uh, and build structures of atom by atom. So what are they going to do with? 
getting out there and supporting those who are having a go.